Hi viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk uh, electrical rip out or electrical makeup. Uh, this will be a two-part video. Uh, first part is going to talk about the panel and then the, we'll do a follow-on video to talk about the, the actual you know boxes for outlets and switches and stuff. So <clears throat> now we've done electrical rip out or electrical rough in and as you recall we had a bunch of long pieces of Romex hanging out this panel. They're there in a pile now. <clears throat> so the next phase, and we do this before drywall, is what we call rip out. And so what I did was basically strip everything out, get the cables all ready to go into breakers, and then land all of the grounds. That's how I chose to do it. You could do something with neutrals at the panel level. I chose not to because most of this stuff's arc fault and ground fault breakers. and So I didn't want to try to keep track of all that early on. I just figured I'll handle it at the breaker time. So... What I did was, as you can see, I, I cut back all the Romex, right? Coming in the box, I saved all my labels. Saved them all. So I know what circuit's which. That's the purpose, right? So, and then we just pulled all of these wires. Let me kind of pull these out. Bad framing. But let me pull all these out and I'll show you what we got. Whoa. Okay. Lots of wires. Okay. So I basically pulled all these out, labeled them, and then just made them all the same length. Like cut them long, right, where I know I'm going to have enough, but just got a lot of the excess out so they'll pack nicer in that, uh, in that box and then cover up with cardboard and whatnot so the, drywaller, the drywallers don't mess anything up and get stuff in there. Uh, likewise for paint, too, um, to protect it all. So... Um, the basic process, you go circuit by circuit, you strip off the Romex, all right, you uh, cut off your tag, <clears throat> slide your tag onto the hot and the neutral. Very important. Keep those neutrals together with the hot. Uh, you know, 20 years ago, it didn't matter, or 30 years ago, I guess it didn't matter uh, because nothing was really ground faulted or arc faulted at the, at the breaker panel. So you just ran the hot to the breaker, neutral to the neutral bus, and went on with life. Now... Those neutrals need to stay with the hots because those arc fault or GFI breakers take the neutral inside them, right? So you got to keep those together. So make sure, and I kept all of them together, even for a circuit I knew wasn't ground fault or arc faulted. I still kept it together with this tag because you never know. Maybe I want to ground fault or arc fault the circuit later, right? Um, as code changes, technology changes where it's like, hey, that'd be a good safety upgrade. Maybe I actually want to do that, right? So... Uh, keep those together and then uh i mean and in the case of like your your 220 volt right you just keep both hots and the neutral together right if you've got a if you've got a um, in this case a 10-3 right where you got a three wire circuit so for for the hots and the neutrals that's pretty much it now landing the grounds here's the part take your time make it pretty i tried to make mine pretty so here's what i did see on one side of it all the grounds coming in they are nice and zip tied and bundled and pushed into that gutter in the corner and nicely landed on the ground bar. All right, I just started from the bottom going to the top. That way, any circuits I add later, they're easier to access. All right, um, ordering doesn't really matter, right? Because these grounds, everything gets tied together, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, just as a, a refresher on my panel. Um, this is actually a sub panel because the main disconnect is over at the shop. And so that's why I have separate ground bars rather than on the neutral bus. All right. So these are separated. Uh, and then I, I explicitly tied my two ground bars together. Right. So on the other side of the panel, I did the same thing for all of the bad frame. Uh, you know, all the wires coming in. Right. Same kind of deal. Just zip ties. And you can zip tie these. We talked in a previous video about zip tying, you know, the Romex together and jerrying heat. Uh, that is not, not a requirement here for these uh, grounds because these do not carry current normally. The only time they carry current is in a fault condition, and then they only carry it for a split second enough to kick the breaker off, right? So um, that is how, how you make up your grounds. Um, there's a million ways you can do it. This is how I chose to do mine. Um, and then, of course, we talked previous, you know, of what the other grounds are, right, for the 
for the gas bond, for the UFER, and for the um, air system bonding bridge bar for all the low voltage and telecom equipment. So for a panel rip out, that's pretty much it. And then you just fold all this stuff nice and neat in the box. And in the case of my, uh, my panel, part of the, the box it came in, you basically cut this thing out and it fits up into, uh, up into the actual cabinet to uh, protect everything. So that's kind of nice. So uh, if yours didn't come with that, well, just cut out one side of your box. That's really all it did. It just provided dotted lines to cut. So um, for electrical rip out, that is how you do your, uh, your main panel. So I hope you found this information useful. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.